from the Pinning Mama. Welcome back to Lesson 6 in Boot Camp. We are making our way through Boot Camp. We did Divide Tool last week with five really great examples of how to use it while you are designing and creating your own projects. This week we are going to talk about the Intersect Tool. The Intersect Tool is super simple. So this video is going to be super short, probably the shortest video that I do. The intersect tool works like the crop tool except for one key difference and I will show you in that today. The intersect tool is going to take, you're going to take multiple shapes and crop them away when you intersect them. So whatever is kind of intersecting on each other will stay and everything else will go away when you use the intersect tool and I'll show you what I mean by that. So with the crop tool, I'm going to select all the shapes I have. So here's the crop. I have one, this left side is the crop and the right side is, I'm gonna show you intersects so you can see the differences. The crop tool is, I'm gonna select the square, the circle, the rounded rectangle, go over to my modify panel and I'm going to crop. And see what that's done is it's taking everything away where any of the shapes overlap. So you still have like part of the the um, rounded <laughs> rectangle down here, part of the square, part of the circle, and that's what it's left. So any place where it's overlapping, it's gonna leave. It's kind of the thing. The intersect tool, it is only going to leave the place where three shapes overlap. So let me show you. Nope, I'm doing that. Select, 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 and I'm going to intersect. And see how that took away everything, it's a little easier over here. It took away everything down here that was touching and only and only left the part that all three of the shapes intersected with each other. Whereas this one, the crop tool, took everything away but all of the parts that are touching. It's kind of easier to see on this in that when I cut when I color the pieces separately. There you go. It is only useful when you have three or more shapes for the intersect tool. If you have two shapes, crop and intersect, crop and intersect, really do the same thing. Um, you use the intersect tool when you want the shape that's left where all three have in, are intersecting. So that's kind of the intersect tool. Um, you can see in my example that they both line up correctly. Um, one way I can see that this is a useful tool is if you're doing a layered design and you want to change one piece, the color. Say in this one you're like, I want this fun little piece to be blue. That's when the intersect tool comes in handy. Um, that's just kind of a really quick way of sharing you, showing, showing you guys the differences between the intersect tool and the crop tool to review two shapes. Um, two shapes, you'd want to use the crop tool, and if you want to leave where all the shapes are overlapping, you would use the intersect tool. So just where all the shapes are overlapping, three or more, of course, you want to use the intersect tool. Um, and that's about all I have for you guys today. I want you guys to tune in next week for a brand new lesson. If you are watching on YouTube, hop on over to the blog to see the whole new, all the silhouette post, or read this whole post. Um, it's www.thepinningmama.com. Search Silhouette in the sidebar or Boot Camp. If you are on the blog, make sure you subscribe to my Silhouette group and you can get emailed each week as we come out with new lessons. And that's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you next week. Thanks.